Number one, an organization would like to appoint a vendor who can manage all other suppliers but need not deliver any service themselves. For this, they are reviewing the capabilities from various vendors. Which vendor should they consider? They want a vendor, um, a consumer organization wants a vendor who can manage all other suppliers but need not deliver any services. So it seems they are looking for a service integrator. So let's look at the options. A vendor who has provided all types of services. This is ruled out because this vendor need not deliver any service. A vendor who has been a customer before and managed services from other suppliers could be possible. If they have managed other suppliers, they could manage the suppliers for this customer also. A vendor who has service integration experience. This is, seems to be more relevant, isn't it? They can integrate the the other vendors on behalf of this organization. A vendor who can have partnership relationship with the organization. Well, it's just one type of relationship. It doesn't look at the integration aspect. Therefore, the answer could be would be C here. And question number two, when developing customer relationships, service provider capabilities need to be understood. Which approach is well suited for this purpose. It is about understanding the capabilities of the service provider. Service value driver framework. Audit and maturity assessment. We're first deciding on sourcing strategy. We're first building trust with the service provider. The question here is about understanding capabilities of the provider. The service value driver framework focuses on understanding needs then arriving at the solution the top-down approach or understanding the solution first then arriving at the needs the bottom-up approach it doesn't focus on understanding the capabilities of the provider audit and maturity assessment seems more likely because the provider can be audited and their capabilities can be understood through the audit and maturity assessment deciding the sourcing strategy doesn't provide an understanding of the provider capabilities. Building trust with the service provider need not provide an understanding of the provider capabilities. Therefore, the answer would be B here. So you've got C and B as the correct answers. And that brings us to the end of this section, three part two, the engage step.